So I'm about to share with you something I've never shared with anybody before. What's up my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombonist here and in this video I'm going to share with you exactly behind the scenes on how much YouTube paid me for 6,929,398 views on my channel. Uh, so maybe you can get an idea of how this can apply to your life if maybe you are a content creator and maybe what to keep in mind as you start to do something. So you're not going to want to go anywhere on this one and by the end of the video you might hear a special message from my banana. So welcome if you're new here. My name is Paul the Trombonist and I enjoy putting up content that I'm interested in my life. Found something helped me on my journey in this world. I like to share that with you on this channel. So if you find value in something like that, you may want to consider subscribing and hitting the notifications on there. All right. So guys, check it out. So my channel, as you can see, I created this Paul the Trombonist channel on December 13th, 2010. Now that's been about a decade, right? So you would think, Okay, 451 uploads. Wow. wow, that's a lot of uploads. 451 uploads. And we have, at the time of this recording, 42,000 subscribers. We got almost 7 million views. So how much would, do you think a channel like that would bring you as far as revenue for ad revenue? Like, what would you think that that would bring in? All right, now, this is the interesting thing, guys. I'm gonna share with you exactly what that brought in, but then I'm gonna share with you on how I was actually able to use this channel to generate a whole, whole lot more income and to utilize it to turn it into a full-time career. All right, so before we get to that, you know, I see a lot of people, they, they say, hey, sub to my channel and I'll sub to your channel and then if we get this many subscribers, we can start monetizing and then we can start making money on our YouTube channels. I see that all the time in like the Facebook feed and all online and everything. And they're saying, hey, sub for me and sub and also for you and then we can run ads and we can start having residual income. Well, what I'm about to share with you may completely shatter that <laughs> because this may come to a shock to you. I want you to get prepared, okay? Before we even get there though, I want to sincerely thank everybody that has been watching my channel. You know, I don't know when you started with me on this journey, but I truly appreciate you guys. So maybe in the comment section, you can just let me know when you started to watch my channel, like what year, if you can remember. I just don't take that for granted. I just really appreciate that you guys stick around or watching here, or even if you're new, oh my gosh, it just means so much to me. I just can't even thank you enough. All right, so let's go back into the what we call it the back office of my YouTube analytics. So I'm about to share it with you something I've never shared with anybody before. All right, so now we go, boom. This is the past decade. So for those running ads on this channel, we have a total revenue, this is almost 7 million views, keep in mind, of $3,453.30. Now, 10 years, $3,453.30. That is no means to live on something like that. It would be very tough to live on something like that. So how was I able to take this YouTube channel and turn it into something I could do full time and be a content creator and to monetize something I love to do online? Well, I'll tell you right now, guys. Let's put the computer down and get real together, okay? Look, the way you can use YouTube to turn it into a way to generate a nice career for you online is you wanna use YouTube as a way to gather traffic, as a traffic source to gather those that are interested in your products and services. So you wanna use those videos as almost a way for people to get indoctrinated with you, to find value in what you do, and then to direct them to more content related to what those videos are. So for example, on this channel, I have different videos related to different content. I may have videos related to trombone. On those videos, I can direct that audience to instruments I enjoy playing, work out an affiliate deal with these companies where I get commission if those play the trombones that I personally like playing from my videos. Another way that I'm able to monetize this channel to healthy numbers, way healthier than you saw in the back office, is I create content, I write books, I create courses. I have all kinds of different ways to monetize this channel by directing these audiences to products and services that will help them, that they're looking for. And the channel is used as a traffic source. One other thing I wanna emphasize is by using YouTube as a traffic source, it has led to gigs, opportunities, me speaking at events, and also led to other people being familiar with my music, hiring me as a studio musician. So those
those are other types of ways that using a YouTube channel to monetize your career come in really handy. So for those that are thinking that a YouTube channel, this is my real advice to you because I really want to help you guys out. For those that are thinking that a YouTube channel and you're going to make money on the advertisements on there and it's all about subscribers and it's all about how many subscribers you have and making money off the views and everything, that's not the way to utilize a YouTube channel because it only takes a certain amount of quality audience members to really be true fans to what you're doing to create a great career for you. So YouTube's one thing, but what happens if YouTube like goes out of business? Like that could totally happen. I don't know if it could happen, but it's happened to other social networks. So why do we want to even risk it? We don't even want to risk it. And the way we do that is we really want to build up our own distribution. And what I found the best way by eliminating the middleman from your audience to yourself is to own your distribution through some sort of like an email list or some kind of a newsletter of such. And I actually put up a completely free on-demand training for those that would like to, because I don't have time in this video to go all in depth on that. It's pretty detailed on how I put it together. It's about an hour long free class that I put up for you guys. If you're interested in that content, it's in the description. You just click the link below. It's completely on demand. So it's not like some of those like fake webinars you may see online where they're like, oh, the time's here. It's going to be registered. And they put you in some fake waiting room. It's not like that at all. It's just completely on demand. Like Netflix, you just go boom and there you are. All right. So guys, that's my story, you know, 10 years of work, that's what's happened to my channel, kind of gives you a perspective. But there are other ways that you can monetize what you love to do by using YouTube as a traffic source. Like that's the key, right? So before we get to the banana though, because the banana is gonna say a message for you. Before we get there, guys, I wanna tell you a little quick story. So I got this really cool, cute little nephew. He's about eight years old. Well, he is eight years old. He just turned eight. He watches this channel. So, hello. <laughs> and every day he asks me about, hey, did you get the YouTube award for 100,000 subscribers? Because him and his friends, they love watching YouTubers getting that award, right? So if you do find value in this channel, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and clicked on notifications so I could get that award for him and unbox it here on this channel. He would absolutely just freak out over that. So <laughs> that would be sweet. So guys, thanks for sticking to this video. Really appreciate you guys. And I'll just continue to share a little advice for you that has helped me out because I want every single person watching this video to succeed. And if I could somehow provide like maybe a shortcut, some kind of a fast, quick path that would allow you to get results faster than I did on this journey. Cause I, there was really no blueprint figuring this stuff out when I was, was going at it. I mean, I think I put up my first YouTube video in 2006. And I just really never stopped. That was my first channel. So that was like the first year of YouTube. Maybe it was like 05 or something. And then it just kind of led to Paul the Trombonis in 2010. And then from there, I've just consistently put up content. And it was a struggle at first. I didn't really know how to kind of monetize it. So that presentation again that I put up, that free on-demand training that I put up will give you in really good insight and really shed light to you on exactly on how you can monetize something you love to do and to turn it into an online business. And you can spend the time just focusing on something you love to do. Because I love to do this. I love to play trombone. I love to talk about music. I love to talk about career tips and advice and those little gems of wisdom that help me out in my life. And I just love to do that. And I feel so blessed that I was able to turn this into a career. And I want that for you guys too. If you guys are watching and you want to create something like that, where you kind of are in control, you're your own boss, you, you control your own distribution and you create something that you can work from the computer anywhere in the world. Hey, I've been there. I know the path. I can help you. So let's let's go. If you want to take it to the next level, let's go click that link and uh, subscribe. Hit like for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment. Let me know when you first started watching me. If you're new here, say hello new. And then now we get to the banana. Now we get to the banana. Okay, something happened in their banana. Something fell off, but we're not going to talk about it. So this is Mr. Banana. He's my dear friend. And at the end of my videos, Mr. Banana, he's got some hair on him. Mr. Banana, where you been? <laughs> he's been messing around. So this is Mr. Banana. And at the end of my videos, he's been doing something lately where he gives you the word of the day, the banana, the word of the day. So you can call Mr. Banana. You can say, hey, banana, whatever you want. So his word of the day for you is a chicken with a potato. So if uh, you like that word, chicken with a potato, that is Mr. Banana's gift to you. And as always, my dear friends of the world, you can tune a piano, but you cannot tune a fish. It's Paul the Trombonist, signing off.